The RM2 riser manifold is a durable, flexible, and easily installed solution that helps fire protection contractors save time and labor. The fully built RM2 riser manifold is ready to install and includes a control valve, check valve, flow switch, test and drain valve, and an adjustable relief valve. Or you can opt for the RM2 base, which includes a flow switch, and the TD2 test and drain valve, which includes an adjustable relief valve. Installation is easiest with either the ready-to-install RM2, which includes a control valve, or an RM2 base with a control valve added. However, the ready-to-install RM2 offers more flexibility with a flow switch and test and drain valve located on different pipes, allowing for optimal component positioning. The drain port on the CV1 check valve can be used to connect a sprinkler for protection of the RM2 installation space. And a flexible drain hose is available to make it easier to connect the TD2 test and drain valve to the drain line. Keep in mind past recommendations to position the flow switch within 24 inches of the drain valve to help avoid flow switch issues is no longer being made and ULFM standards do not require it. After installation of the fully built RM2, the system must be checked for any potential leaks. This requires pressurizing the system to 300 PSI. When a riser manifold is used with a TD2 test and drain valve, the hydro test can be done without draining the system since the TD2 test and drain valve includes an adjustable relief valve. Hydro testing can be carried out as follows. Step 1. Set the relief pressure from 175 PSI to 310 PSI. Step 2. Test the system at 300 PSI. Step 3. Reset the system to 175 PSI. After successfully completing the pressurized hydro test, the system is ready for operation. The system is in operational mode when the control valve is open. Ensure the flow switch is connected to the panel. Then verify the TD2 test and drain valve is closed. And finally, check that the gauge shows pressure equal to or slightly higher than the pressure upstream. At this point, the system is ready for operation. In the event of a discharge during a fire suppression incident, water will flow to the sprinkler heads and the flow switch will send a signal to the panel. The panel will indicate by floor or building section where the fire is located. Once the fire is extinguished, the system control valve can be closed to isolate the floor or section. After the system has been drained, the sprinkler can be replaced. Upon replacing the sprinkler, the system can be refilled by opening the control valve for water to enter the system while also opening the drain to let air escape. In order to help ensure long-term dependability, the flow switch must be tested every six months. For convenience, the TD2 test and drain valve has a built-in test valve. When opening the test valve, water will drain at an orifice size equal to or smaller than the installed sprinkler. This test will generate a signal to the flow switch. Once the signal is received by the panel, the test valve will be closed. When the system needs to be drained for any other service need, the control valve can be closed and the drain valve of the TD2 test and drain valve can again be used to complete a full bore drain flow.